Welcome to On The Desk, I'm Justin, and today we're going to have an update on our Anniversary Edition Defender build. We're calling it Lucky 8 Project Legacy. The goal of the build is to try to put as many aftermarket parts on the vehicle to help bring back that nostalgic feeling of the original 110 when it landed here 30 years ago. To help do this, we reached out to the internet, and the internet never disappoints. We've got some great comments. Keep them coming. Uh, James Bond Smoke Machine was one of my favorites. But we also did get some really good ideas. A lot of them we already had on our to-do list, but some new ones came about. So if you do have an idea that you think we can add to this project, please let us know. And uh, if we can get on the truck, we will. With so many things to do and so many options, we decided to take the advice from our friend, Jay Menya 19 I hope I'm saying it right, buddy. And if that wasn't enough, Shockham 930 also agreed. Get rid of the side steps and move on to the sliders. Using the sliders as the beginning point is actually quite useful. It allows us to pick up the truck anywhere on the lift, makes it very easy to work on going forward gives us a great base to build off of. The sliders also have round tubing which gives us a little bit of a callback to the original 110 with the tubing brush bar and tubing roll cage. To finish off the sliders we did the mud flap mod allowing you to run the factory wide mud flaps with the Proud Rhino rod sliders. That's about as far as we got. We're gonna keep going. What should we do next? Always looking forward to those comments, and until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.